Hello, I don't know how this is going to work out. Um, this is the first new video since I <clears throat> upgraded my the oper operating system on Mac, so everything's not quite where it used to be. And um, before before that, it, I was basically just sort of muddling through, and because things aren't quite where they used to be, um, I'm having to sort of find my um, sort of way again to a point where I can muddle through again, because that's generally how I do stuff. I don't learn things. Spit on the screen. Yeah, don't learn things. Um, I just sort of wing it and find something that works. And if even though it's not correct, but if it works, it's all right. It will do me and stick to it. <laughs> Trial and error. So hopefully this is working. Like I can't, I can't work out how to. Actually, maybe this work. Maybe this is working. Don't know. It's not quite as it was, and when things aren't quite as they were, it's not quite what I'm used to. I get a bit like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, and uh, the uh, walls are slightly different colour. Does anyone <laughs> ever noticed the, the, the colour of my walls? And uh, also, a bit of a weird one. I can see my mouth doesn't doesn't quite match. That's weird. A bit of grey air there. Also, um, because it's had a lock of paint job, having been having the cracks filled in, that I used to have a massive crack right there. Um, got a few new curtains as well. And so now I, I can't quite get as much light for a video as I used to because they're, they're really irritating. I can't, it's really annoying me. So, as it is, we're like this. That's why I've got that back door, that door open. Not that it's going to make any difference whatsoever. It creates a bit of interest, a bit of mystery, because anyone could come in through that door at any time. Not that there's anyone here, but me and the cats, so they might come in. If they do, if they do, they're going to get this. <laughs> no, they're not. No, no. Um, no. Right. Yeah. This is this is an interesting video. Um, <clears throat> I've been waiting, for, they've got three packages, three mystery packages, that's why it's interesting. Um, I've been waiting for these for ages. Um, thing is, these should have been like here a week ago, but because of um, people being uh, sort of like notified that people around them had uh, caught the lurgy, and <coughs> as I'm calling it, um, it see, I think something w went off in the local postal depot. So I checked uh, on the Royal Mail website, and there was, there was at the time there was a list of about ten postal authorities in Britain that had sort of really, really sort of like limited service. And lo and behold, one of them was mine. I hadn't ordered anything for delivery for months, and then the week I do. That's when there's a, a big sort of like lockdown in my um, local postal depot. So, it's, you know, slightly irritating. And also, I just sort of uh, decided they weren't going to turn up, but then they turned up. They turned up today and uh, a week later. But, and I'm quite excited. I say so excited. There's a big chance that these might be, th there's three packages and they, they might be three big boobs. Um, big stinkers. <laughs> Three big stinky boobs. Um, they're in order. There's a, there's an element of mystery with all of them. I'll get to that each one. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what any of them, the exact details of any of them, because obviously um, the three eBay purchases via Music Magpie, so that's always a mystery. And one from CX, again, a bit of a mystery. I'm hoping they're all right. I've got a feeling, I think this particularly this first one, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit of a loser. The other two, the middle one's just sort of fuck knows. Could be anything. Although, looking at the package, it's not quite what I was expecting it to be. And the third one, I have better, a better idea of what I'm getting. So, all will be revealed. Hopefully this mic works as well, because this, like, um, this is the first time I've uh, plugged in my mic. 
first video I've made since the decoration, as you can see, none of my shit that's normally on the walls is there. None of my consoles are there. They're all, they're all upstairs. Basically, all of my shit had to be moved into my room. So basically, I've got a little, a little uh, walkway, sort of like around two sides of my bed. And then generally all of my crap is sort of packed in around there. So I'm debating whether to put it back. I probably will, just to get out of the way. But, you know, it's been up in those shelves for so long and no, nothing really changed. I felt a lot better change. I quite like having it all in, all in one place. It feels a bit, you know, a bit more respectful having it out of the way. Even though I can't really move in my room. <laughs> and seeing it all together... Doesn't really look like that much. Not not a not even like a dent on what a lot of people have got. But yeah, anyway, right. On to the good stuff. First one. First one. It's a like good start. Do you hear that? It's a music magpie purchase. Feels <laughs> light. Music magpie purchase. It's, it came about. I was watching um, a uh, London gaming market video from this this past one, the first one that's since for about a year or so, since March 2020. And uh, I was living vicariously for all these videos because uh, you know I'm not really quite there yet. I don't really want to go in, in, in sort of like a tightly packed room with sort of no little or no ventilation, and a lot of people are just doing their own thing. So so I didn't go. Hopefully, I'll go to the next one if things are sort of better. But yeah, I was watching this video and, and there, there was a seller there that was doing three for ten quid, and, and a lot of the stuff was sort of like a bit like a slightly junky. I think that was the general gist. Some quite good looking stuff, but mixed in with probably a load of crap from what I could see from the videos. And um, one of these. One of these games, I thought, hang on, I've not seen that before. It's a PS2 game, a bit of a clue. I've not seen that before. No, I have seen it before, but it's just not one I've really paid really attention to. Um, so I thought I'll look it up. And I went to CX, eBay, Google, just to get a general idea of what it was. YouTube, look up and gameplay video. But going to uh, eBay, um, typed it in. Something totally different popped up. Well, not totally different. It was vaguely the, the same title. I thought, Oh shit! I totally forgot about that, and it was a this music magpie listing um, for a dirt sort of not dirt cheap, but sort of about maybe a quarter what I would have had to pay because it's a a US only game, and if I'd had to import it from the states, um, it would have cost me about three three or four times as much as I paid. I think I ended up paying just under six quid for it. Oh, I think yeah, that's sort of a bit of a bit of a. Um, bit of an opportunity so I sort of jumped on it and I thought it was one of those you don't really see bargains on eBay much anymore do you back in the day you used to you know you see like you'd see something that's really well priced and you'd just go oh shit yeah grab it and then it'd turn up and yeah it'd be sort of like a bargain but now things are either mispriced scams or just sort of if something's sort of vaguely well priced Someone always gets it, to, it gets to it for you because they've got like a text alert on their phone or something, and you go, "Oh shit, I'll have that." But then it's long gone, you know. But this felt like a, a good good price. But like I said, import PS2 game. Um, it, problem is, it was only after I'd paid the money, should have exercised more haste, less speed. It was only after I I uh, paid the money. I checked the my email from eBay, Music Magpie, and realised that the title on the listing didn't match the picture because the picture was correct, but the title wasn't. So if I'm lucky, the picture will be more representative of the game. If I'm unlucky, which is probably more likely, <laughs> then the title will be more, the more accurate thing. I've just got a feeling it's the latter. Not open. Oh, come on, you bastard. I've got my skizzers. I, once, I, I used to go to school with this Israeli kid. And every... Oh, hang on. No, actually. 
I've seen it's a, it's a light blue case. I thought it was a dark blue case to begin with, but light blue case is a bad sign. And yeah, I used to go to school with an Israeli kid, and he spoke, spoke perfect English, but every so often he'd mispronounce certain words. And I remember him like saying to me, what they so asking him, are these, I think he asked, they were called skizzers, which I thought was quite funny. Yeah, it's a PS2 game. I'm going to say, tell you what it is now. I Googled, the, the game I was looking up was Red Baron on the PS2. But I looked on eBay and um, Snoopy and the Red Baron uh, popped up as a listing on Music Magpie. Like, oh, that's one I wanted because it, uh, it was one of Metal Jesus Rocks' hidden gems. I don't, think, I don't think it's funny how he's sort of basically co-opted, he's, he's monopolised the hidden gem genre, genre as, almost as if he invented it. Whereas everybody associates hidden gems with him. But it's like... No, they've been around for years before he turned up. And uh, and also, I think he's nowadays he's running out of hidden gems. I think those hidden, hidden gems aren't quite gemmy. They're a bit like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bollocks, yeah. Light, it's a light blue case. It's not, I don't think it's an American case. So this looks like a bit of a boob. Yep, yeah. shit. Right, now can I be asked to send this back? It's as I thought it would be. <clears throat> the game, I, th I was hoping it was uh, Snoopy and the Red Baron, but not. No, it's just Red Baron. Not sure there's even a. It's nice. Not, I'm guessing there's not even a, a manual. No, not even a manual. <laughs> so that's a bit of a fucker. Well, it's, it won't be difficult to take back or send back. I'm, I'm guessing. I mean, they might even let me keep it. I've had that before. I've, I've said, excuse me, the music magpie. Um, this was incorrect. And it clearly was incorrect because this had a picture of um, Snoopy and the Red Baron, which I thought was what I was buying, but like I said, the, the title didn't match. So that was a bit of a boob. One big, one stinky boob. Um, if I, if I, it was sort of game that if I had seen in sort of a charity shop for a quid, I probably would have bought it. But I think six quid, probably not. If I can, if I can't be bothered to send it back, I could take it to Computer Exchange. I think, as a rule, the game looks like a bit of a turkey because, I, like I said, I looked it up, and if I was going to have this, it's, it'd have to be a really good, cheap, good condition game because it's more of a novelty than anything. Because I think, the, by and large, the game's a bit shit. <laughs> so, number one, bit of a boob so far. That's Red Baron, because the title said World War One Red Baron, and it had um, Davalex, I think they're Dutch, uh, Dutch developer. Um, so, yeah, a bit unlucky there. I'm, I'm guessing someone wrote the listing and just sort of uh, did a Google search for PS2 games Red Baron and just sort of didn't really put much care into it when they saw um, Snoopy and the Red Baron pop up, so, yeah. Bit of a fucker that, but you know, shouldn't like I said, shouldn't take, shouldn't be too difficult to send back. Right. Isn't that the music from um, Jeopardy? I don't know. Now this one's a weirder one. This is more mystery. Um, <clears throat> just randomly look on an eBay, and I think it was again music magpie, and um, I saw I think a month or so ago, a few months ago, I saw a listing that said. Um, uh, bundle of um, rare collectible PSP games oh, and it was only about five uh, weird I, and I just basically I didn't, I didn't buy it I just sort of kept an, kept an eye on it and then someone else bought it and I thought oh I should have bought that obviously I wasn't that keen because I would have bought it there and then but and I felt a certain element of regret having not snapped it up because I quite it wasn't too expensive and I quite liked the sort of mystery of it but then this popped up and this one said um Along the same lines, but it said um, bundle of of bundle of rare collectible PlayStation games, which could, you know, as people probably could anticipate, could literally mean anything as long as it's in the PlayStation family. It could mean anything from PS One probably right up to PS Five or PSP, you know. But it says bundle. This is how it's come. <laughs> A PS3 size case. So it's very bundly, is it? 
So, yeah, I took a punt on it, it turned out, eventually turned up. I'm trying to heft it, weight-wise, God knows what it is. I think my anticip I was anticipating maybe like loose discs, Japanese loose discs. If it was a proper game, why didn't they list it properly? But best case scenario, it's a PS3 game I haven't got that's worth more than... Again, this was about six quid. But not so much preamble for this one. Can I get into it? Well, it's a clear case. And I, also, I, I'd um, gotten rid of my old um, mic holder, and this is a new one, but I used... The old, the old mic holder was a, basically a, a wire coat hanger, sort of bent out of shape and bent round my uh, Guitar Hero mic, so it stands up. Um, this one, again, a wire coat hanger. This one of those white ones, and when I started bending it, all the, all the paint started flaking off. So now I've got like a flaky white paint everywhere. It's not dandruff. So, yeah. This should be a bundle rare collectible PS1 games. It could literally, God knows what it is. <laughs> it's, it's... What the fuck is that? Piss off. <laughs> well, this is going back. Bundle of rare collectible PS1 games. See if the disc matches. Yeah, the disc matches. This is this is a, an, an odd definition of bundle of rare collectible PS1 games. This is what Music Magpie sent me, which they see as a bundle of rare collectible PS1, P, uh, PlayStation games. <laughs> what? In what way is that a rare collectible um, PlayStation game? PlayStation is correct. Yeah, I'll give it that. But, well, I think this is probably going back. <clears throat> well, you know... Two punts, uh, two smelly, big smelly boobs. Um, right, last one. This is the this is the better one. This is a computer exchange purchase. Again, bit of a uh, take a bit of explaining. This is an odd one. Um, PS2 game that I've been looking at for a while. Probably, as people would like to say, one of the heavy hitters, or you know, uh, the price started going up. I think it for. Years ago, it was about 40 quid. Price started going up in sort of in recent years. I think to a point, Computer Exchange had it for about 80 quid for quite a long time. And then this last year, it's gone from 80 quid and it went to 90 and 100, I think. And then it, uh, not that long ago, it jumped from 100 up to 125. Thought, oh God, I'm less and less likely. I've, I've got the credit for it, but I'm less and less likely to spend it because I knew I'd seen it for sort of a lot cheaper in the past. So, um, I'm really pissed off by them. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sort of like, uh, compute, uh, Music Magpie, I'm going to have a piece of my mind. Um, yeah, so it's gone up to 125, this PS2 game. And uh, less and less likely to, to spend most of my credit on it. But then, um, sort of one day I was just looking on Computer Exchange and another um, listing for the game popped up, a second one, a different one. That was um, a different version, but this already had sort of that. I'd never seen it before, but it already had that. We don't stop. We don't take this anymore. Little black thing on the uh, you know. It says you could buy it, but you couldn't sell it to them because it had. You know, we don't take this sort of thing. Well, that's a bit weird. I've not seen that one before. Maybe they'd sort of taken it and written a listing specifically for that copy that they'd that they'd uh, taken in, and it was sixty quid, so more than half, less than half the price. But then a third third one top, uh, popped up. Weird. A third one. Um, the original one said Peggy UK on it. That might be a clue. If people look at PS2 games because, again, it's a PS2 game. It said Peggy UK on it and it was 125 quid. And the second one, the cheaper one, said Dutch Peggy P G I, which was 60 quid. This one popped up and it said BBFC UK. And it was 80 quid. I thought, well, that's a lot cheaper than, than sort of the other version. And, and as far as I know, sort of um, the BBFC versions of this game, 
I'll get out in a minute, don't worry. The BBFC versions of this game and the uh, the Peggy UK versions of this game are sort of pretty much the same value. So, um, if the, the, having spent eighty quid on this one, it should be um, sort of a definitely sort of a better price. So, hopefully, it's a keeper. It's uh, another clue. It's um, uh, what was it? <laughs> Survival horror. <laughs> One of the reasons why it's um, sort of you know price has gone up because survival horrors, and also it's one of the one of the really late PS2 games. So this is how it turned up. Bit bit fucked up. Now everybody fingers crossed. If it, if it doesn't turn out to be right, then it's because no one people didn't cross their fingers. Oh fuck off. Well, as, as we can see, it's not it's not BBFC, is it? UK, it's Peggy, but it's not even um, it's not even uh, UK. It's Dutch. Ah, oh, fucking hell! I was hoping this would sort of get get back some of the some of the sort of shit, but basically, I've had some decent decent luck with this bunch recently, but. I mean, in what way is that BBFC UK? I mean, I would have thought if you'd written the listing, you'd get it right. That's not even... So this should have been... This is one they don't even take anymore. Oh, fucking hell. Right. I'm pissed off now. I'm going to go and... Um, I don't know what I'm going to go and do. I'm going to go and... Um, fuck knows. <laughs> so... Rare and collectible bundle of PS2 PlayStation games and uh, Snoopy versus the Red Baron and uh, a British Board of Film Classification um, UK version of Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Not right, I'm off, I'm pissed off. <laughs> Thanks for watching, see you later.